to segment number two of the Cummins Real Estate Group show with Michelle Cummins, of course, because it's got her name in the show title, and myself, Curtis Pope. And, of course, we're here now with the second segment, and I know that uh, you had a lot to talk about in the second segment. Yes, so I wanted to mention, because so many people are having the buyers, specifically, having a hard time finding their next home. A lot of people are saying, I don't want to make a lateral move. You sell and maybe you're staying kind of in the same area. Is it apples to apples? Well, why would you do that? You know, you want something new, something you haven't had, something you're looking for. It's hard to find because listings are still minimal compared to buyers, and it's really hard to find what you're looking for. So many of my buyers have been saying, Michelle, I'm thinking about building. I want to build. You know, let's look for a lot, this and that. So I wanted to bring to our audience information about how much does it cost to build a house in BC that is beautiful British Columbia and uh, yeah so a lot of buyers don't think of everything so I wanted to, to write to get down to the nitty-gritty of it so when you're looking at real estate in our beautiful British Columbia it, it definitely can be difficult to find that home that meets your needs on your budget and so uh, there's prices have been rising in Canada but for lots as well so I've got some tips I've got some reminders and some things to think about plus the price per square foot building land to build on or sorry buying of course land to build on the most important part of building your dream home is finding decent land and that is very hard but beautiful British Columbia is known for the exceptional views and the pristine land that we have and all of which I mean all of that does affect the cost too so you do have to think about that the spectacular views though are just absolutely amazing in most of our region and of course why wouldn't you want to build something beautiful uh, and and be able to call it your own but consider the building site conditions huge the location and geography of a property can dramatically change the cost to build Typically, sites that don't have road access or they're not level, uh, they'll be priced lower. This is because builders may have to invest in paving, creating roads to the site, uh, grading the property so it's level, huge retaining walls, which cost a lot of money. While the site seems like the best value, it's the cheapest land, you have to really consider those additional costs. Uh, that it's going to 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 be a uh, price per square foot everyone really cares about this and does it really matter well it does but it's not the only thing to think about so the square foot is the size of your home floor plan in square feet of course it can be an important part determining the ballpark figure that you'll have to pay for your home and the cost approximately and i've just reached out to about four builder um uh, contacts of mine and they were all around the same price of course lumber costs have gone up astronomically just recently so they were all like oh it's so hard to to say if if it's a custom home or if it's a a blueprint home or you know a home out of a book type of thing of course it changes so cost approximately i've been hearing is around for just your basic single detached home that stock house plant in our area is around $220 to $260 per square foot. But if you want to design your dream home, like a custom home, then you're looking at anywhere between $430 a square foot to 1,090 square feet uh, for the custom home. I just had a realtor uh, lunch in uh, a couple days ago at uh, my my listing, my beautiful timber frame five acre ALR property that just listed uh, in Abbotsford. And it literally is like, how much would it be to build this home today? Oh, and I just got insurance just for covering the cost of rebuilding my home, which is a post and beam home, not even a timber frame. And it's crazy how much it would cost to rebuild it today. Just amazing. So the cost per square foot is the starting difference between the price per square foot. It may cause many to rethink whether they should actually design their home or choose stock plan. So I do see a lot of people wanting that dream home, but then going to a stock plan. But then other construction costs to expect. So many people expect the construction costs will take up the majority of their budget when they build their home. It's 
true, but despite this, many people gravely underestimate the real building costs. So there's soft, there's hard costs. You gotta consider, it's very important to consider all when you're about to build. So um, it plays a vital role in everything. You've got to think of many different factors that influence the overall cost to build your custom home. I mean, it, the, it, not only the construction costs, it's the labor costs, uh, it's the services like water, gas, electricity, heat, getting all that in, materials for the structure, interior design materials, services of a custom builder, uh, and then you've got just all the costs that arise because there will be costs to, that arise and are you on an off-grid property do you need a well do you need a septic do you have service and you're not so and the cost of building permits so there are uh, building per- permits to consider and the time of waiting for those building permits but uh, you've got it 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 holds builders accountable to local bylaws building codes health and safety regulations you have to do it everyone should know this but the approximate cost of building let's say a 3,000 square foot single detached home here in british columbia anyways uh that's from 525,000 to 975 and like that's just the building cost not the land <laughs> um it, it it i would say it, it's going to be into the into the thousands uh for your for for, for your building permits like it, it, it's very easy to cost a couple grand uh, for, for it so uh, you got to consider that so there's a lot to consider and now let's talk about the land now when people buy or want to build I always suggest let's try to look for something with a shack on it or a, a, a house that's just ready to be demolished something where they advertise land value only but there's still a house on it uh, so this is the reason is is because you can actually get a mortgage well with with minimal down payment it's easier to get a mortgage on that property because there's a residential property so it's a typical residential mortgage that you're going for but if you find just dirt just land no house no well it, it can't and it can't be just a cabin with no plumbing it has to be has to have the plumbing right so it, it, but if you don't have that then you need 50% down to purchase it. It's not a residential mortgage you're going for. You're purchasing land. And then, of course, there's the construction loan that you get on top of that uh, and that you have to consider. So, I mean, I'm not a builder, never built before. My dad built many, 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 many homes, <laughs> uh, but I have never. Uh, but I know quite a few builders, and it, it, it's amazing the depth of knowledge and uh, network and information you need to know. So if you're if you're going for it, hire a good, true blue, a good builder. Uh, that is going to go a long way in your stress level and in your confidence confidence because this is a dream of yours and if you're going to do it try to do it right get the right professionals and and, and advice so that would be uh, my my suggestion and feel free to reach out to me if you don't have good builders if you're thinking about building and you need some suggestions I definitely have um, a handful of really really good builders local builders so happy to share um, their contact information with everyone and talking about maybe some local businesses i have some local like builders <laughs> but i have some local business shout outs and that i wanted to mention because i have been using for years now fraser valley junk solutions this is a really awesome uh company and curtis you remember we had him on our show i think two years ago i do remember that yeah yeah, Sam, the owner, he's really, he's young, he's local, he's an entrepreneur. He has done an amazing job of growing his business. The branding, the social, the um, customer service is top notch. He's fast, he's reliable, honest, total service oriented. I've used them many times and they just started um, getting, they have bins now where you can rent the bin and then pile it up and they'll come and haul it away. So now they do that. So I've used them to, to remove a lot of furniture where my clients are just, they want to go, Michelle, I want to hand you the key and walk away. I don't want to get rid of anything. I don't want to have to worry about getting rid of any furniture, nothing. I just want to walk away. Like I've literally had that quite a few times. I'm all, no problem. I'll take care of it. 
So whether it's helping them sell on, on you know, sell furniture or sell it into the buyer or whatever's left over, uh, Sam and his uh, guys there at Fraser Valley Junk Solutions has been amazing. Um, and their last one they just did for me last week. So uh, great. And and at, and then there's another business I wanted to give a shout out because I just visited my sister-in-law and brother-in-law uh, bought a new uh, place in Chilliwack and they hired Excel Cabinets in Abbotsford and I was just looking they just moved all their stuff in and they're getting all settled and she was telling me how amazing these guys were for their cabinets and they did a fantastic job they look beautiful and they're all custom and she said they were pretty fast they were on time they delivered it when they promised and they just did a fantastic job so I thought I'd give them a shout out as well uh, if you're doing any renovations they did a whole renovation they totally stripped this house and redid everything so it was a big job it wasn't just like one closet either so it was all their closets so highly recommend them 